carrying the first of two Voyager spacecraft to extend man's senses farther into the solar system than ever before. Well, this is just contributes to the number of discoveries that Voyager has been making. And this is one we'd hoped we would have the chance to do. And fortunately, the Spose spacecraft were still operating when they reached interstellar space. It's really quite, uh, quite remarkable. Powerful telescopes, groundbreaking partnerships, and scientific achievements have revealed cosmic wonders. Yet as we launch the mightiest space telescope and venture to the universe's edge, a perplexing event unfolds. Voyager 1 encounters an enigmatic force in interstellar space, a cosmic mystery beyond comprehension. What stopped Voyager 1 in its journey into the great unknown? The implications remain shrouded in mystery, compelling us to seek the truth. So let's delve into it. This is Reveal the Mystery. If you are curious to learn mysteries of the world, space and beyond, consider subscribing. After uncovering some astounding revelations, the Voyager spacecraft has left the scientific community and space enthusiasts in a state of wonder, as recently disclosed by NASA's chief. The newfound knowledge originating from the far reaches of our solar system has offered a fresh perspective on the surrounding universe. Voyager 1 continues to consistently surprise us with its astonishing and extraordinary discoveries, and it was responsible for this particular revelation, which startled everyone. A noteworthy accomplishment by NASA's Voyager 1 spacecraft was capturing Saturn's magnificent rings, a momentous achievement. By transmitting images from 1980, scientists bestowed upon humanity a breathtaking and unparalleled glimpse of one of the solar system's most iconic features. It is indeed a remarkable achievement. The showcased visuals unveiled the intricate structure and remarkable beauty of Saturn's ring system, composed of an array of particles ranging from minuscule grains to substantial frozen water blocks. Additionally, several new moons were discovered orbiting the gas giant. Voyager 1's remarkable feat in discovering the heliopause significantly contributed to our understanding of the boundary that separates our solar system from interstellar space. The heliopause is the region where the solar wind from the sun's influence diminishes, marking the outer edge of the heliosphere. As Voyager 1 ventured farther from our star, it reached a point where the speed of the solar wind decreased and the interstellar medium, including particles and magnetic fields from other stars, became more prominent. This transition marked the spacecraft's entry into interstellar space. Our comprehension of the structure and characteristics of the heliopause has been greatly enhanced through the analysis of data transmitted by Voyager 1. These studies have provided insights into the intensity of cosmic rays, the density of interstellar particles, and the natural magnetic fields at this boundary. These discoveries are invaluable for expanding our understanding of how the solar system interacts with its broader cosmic context. Embarking on an extraordinary mission to the outer reaches of our solar system, much like its counterpart Voyager 1, Voyager 2 provided us with priceless data, accompanied by breathtaking images of planets and moons in those distant regions. Voyager 2 encountered unique phenomena and unveiled novel discoveries. In a manner similar to Voyager 1's mission decades earlier, Voyager 2 was launched with the same grand objective, to undertake a comprehensive exploration of the outer planets. However, due to differences in their launch times and trajectories, Voyager 2 ventured to distinct destinations that Voyager 1 had not explored. Voyager 2's remarkable odyssey included close encounters with Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune, yielding a treasure trove of new insights into these remote worlds. One of Voyager 2's most astonishing revelations was the discovery of active volcanoes on Jupiter's moon, Io. This revelation reshaped our understanding of the solar system and firmly established Io's reputation as one of the most geologically active entities in our celestial vicinity. When Voyager 2 reached Saturn during its ongoing mission in August of 1981, it captured mesmerizing photographs that unveiled the intricate patterns and structure within the planet's renowned rings. 
In January of 1986, Voyager 2 embarked on a journey toward the ice giant Uranus, marking its sole close encounter with this distant planet. The spacecraft acquired detailed images of Uranus's atmosphere and its five major moons, while also revealing a unique orientation of Uranus's tilted magnetic field. Following in the footsteps of Voyager 1, Voyager 2 detected the heliopause and crossed into interstellar space in 2018. This milestone was of great significance to scientists, enabling them to investigate the structure of our galaxy and beyond. Voyager 2 continues to transmit valuable data to Earth from over 13 billion miles away and is expected to remain operational until 2025. However, the saga of discoveries doesn't conclude here. The Voyager spacecraft ventured beyond the edge of our solar system, known as the Heliopause, and unveiled another notable feature, the Heliosheath. Voyager 1 encountered the Heliosheath in 2004, followed by Voyager 2 in 2007, both missions sparking immense scientific interest. Beyond the termination shock in our solar system lies a region called the Heliosheath. It is characterized by the gradual decrease in the velocity of high-speed solar winds as they transition into subsonic speeds. Voyager traversed the termination shock and entered the Heliosheath, where the solar wind continued to decelerate and interact with the interstellar medium. While journeying through the Heliosheath, the Voyager probe recorded a decline in the intensity of solar wind particles. This observation confirmed our expectations regarding the eventual decrease in solar wind speed as it interacts with the interstellar medium. This progressive weakening of particle intensity helped us identify the heliopause, which signifies the boundary where our solar system ends and interstellar space begins. Furthermore, the Voyager probes have provided valuable data on the magnetic fields within the heliosheath. Understanding how solar wind interacts with the interstellar medium greatly relies on these magnetic fields. The insights obtained from Voyager's exploration of the heliosheath have not only prepared us for future interstellar missions, but have also enhanced our understanding of the conditions and challenges that spacecraft may encounter when venturing beyond our solar system. As if Voyager's achievements were not impressive enough, the James Webb Space Telescope JWST, has also made significant contributions to our understanding of the cosmos. The James Webb Space Telescope JWST, is a groundbreaking instrument built for extended space exploration with a projected lifespan of approximately 20 years. Dubbed a superspace spy, the JWST boasts cutting-edge technology that has generated considerable excitement. Among its impressive capabilities is the ability to scrutinize ancient galaxies, those that formed in the universe's infancy. Its proficiency in detecting faint light, even in the presence of obstructing dust, enables this feat. Moreover, the telescope excels in analyzing the atmospheres of exoplanets, offering insights into their composition, including elements like oxygen, carbon dioxide, and water. This crucial information aids in assessing the potential habitability of these distant worlds. The JWST isn't confined to investigating distant realms. It also explores celestial bodies in our cosmic neighborhood, such as planets, moons, asteroids, and comets. This study of their composition and atmospheric makeup yields valuable insights into their origins and evolution. Notably, the JWST has made significant discoveries, including identifying the four oldest galaxies ever observed, born approximately 13.4 billion years ago during the universe's infancy. It also measured their redshift, indicating how much their light has stretched due to the universe's expansion. These galaxies displayed the highest redshift ever recorded, around 13.2. Additionally, the telescope unveiled an intriguing exoplanet named VHS 1256b, further contributing to its remarkable legacy. Astronomers utilized data from the Vista Hemisphere Survey and the Wide Field Infrared Survey Explorer satellite to observe and characterize a planet located approximately 40 light years away from Earth. Designated as VHS 1256b, this colossal exoplanet, estimated to be 12 times the size of Jupiter, astounds with its immense scale. 
Similar to stars and brown dwarfs, its significant mass provides insight into its formation from the collapse of a gas and dust cloud. Despite its size, it couldn't accumulate enough mass for nuclear fusion, remaining a distinct celestial entity traversing through space. This planet exhibits unique phenomena, including sandstorms and swirling silicate clouds ranging from minute specks to sand-like grains that occasionally coalesce into raindrops. Notably, VHS 1256 B orbits two suns, situated far from other planets, at a distance surpassing 3.7 billion miles, greater than the span from our Sun to Pluto. Its orbital period, requiring 10,000 years for one orbit, is truly extraordinary. Witnessing this phenomenon firsthand would be awe-inspiring. Voyager's discoveries have ignited wonder and excitement in both the scientific community and the public, revealing extraordinary aspects of our cosmic environment from unexpected magnetic fields to dust particles spanning galaxies and enigmatic cosmic rays. These revelations from Voyager propel scientific advancement, logical innovation, and international collaboration as NASA prepares for its forthcoming mission.